This is a facsimile copy of the Kelmscott Chaucer, a book which was originally produced in uh, 1896 at William Morris's Kelmscott Press. Morris was concerned uh, about the quality of printing that existed at that time, the end of the 19th century, and so he wanted to revisit the uh, medieval printing process from the 15th century and um, he set up the press with the intention of producing books of the same kind of quality that were printed in the 15th century. All his books were printed on Albion hand presses um, on handmade paper made from unbleached linen rags. He used a high viscosity ink um, which he had made specially uh, and all over caused problems for his printers, it produced the, the depth of colour that he was looking for. Um, Morris was responsible for most of the design of the book. He, he For the Camscott Press he he'd, um, designed three different typefaces and so all the, the type, this is one of his typefaces that he'd uh, designed. He designed all the, um, these initial uh, these initials, and which were all unique, were all quite different, even though it's the same letter. Um, he designed them all, and then they were engraved on wood. All this um, a border design w w was the work of Morris. The illustrations um, were done by Morris's friend, uh, the pre raphaelite painter Edward Burn Jones, uh, who with Morris had, had um, spent a lot of time looking at uh, medieval illuminated manuscripts and, and the style of these is based on that. The, um, so this is, this is um, a facsimile. Um, the original book was bound in very plain boards, simple plain boards, at the Kelmscott Press, uh, and customers who, who wanted to have a, a more lavish binding, uh, the books would be um, taken to the nearby Dove's Press, which was which um, Cobden Sanderson's uh, press and bindery, which was quite close to the Kelmscott Press in, in Hammersmith. And this is a um, a facsimile of a binding done there at the Dove's Bindery. Um, in this case, it, this is a, a pale goatskin with this gilt decoration. Uh, a lot of the books that they, they bound were done in um, either leather or vellum or um, sometimes alum tore pigskin, which was a, a type of binding very typical in the 15th century. So although this is a facsimile copy, which was largely produced by mechanical means, um, it nevertheless, nevertheless captured the essence of the original Kelmscott Chaucer, which is regarded as one of the, in terms of its um, aesthetic qualities and the quality of its materials, it's regarded as one of the finest books ever produced.